tops of trees. They wait for hours under the blazing sun without eating or drinking a thing. When the guard sees danger, he warns his friends by giving an alarm. When they hear the alarm, the meerkats run to hide in their dens. Cooperation and being of mutual assistance protects the lives of meerkats. The most important responsibility of the group is to rear and protect its young. Every day, one meerkat stays in the den to look after the youngsters. This amazing cooperation, solidarity, and self-sacrifice among meerkats are inspired in them by God. Parrots. These are young Australian parrots. Each of these chicks was born five days apart. This is why they look so different. The first chick to hatch from the egg is much bigger than the last one. But the mother parrot is very fair. She gives each chick the amount of food it needs. Ten days later, the biggest chick is still a lot bigger than the others. But, miraculously, it shares its food with the smallest and the weakest of its siblings and feeds it from its own mouth. Why does this little chick show such self-sacrifice? Why does it give food to its weak brother? Those who claim that animals just think about themselves could never explain the reason for this benevolent behavior. But as you see, even a little bird shares its food at the right time with its smaller and weaker brother. Because of the sense of solidarity and sharing that God has inspired in them, all of the young develop in a healthy way. The Woodpecker The woodpecker's bill is a very strong auger. It first pecks a hole into the tree with its bill. Then, it stores acorns in the hole to be taken out in the winter. The woodpeckers you see in this tree have stored 60,000 acorns. It is very difficult to peck 60,000 holes in the bark of a tree. Woodpeckers manage this difficult task with patience and self-sacrifice. The purpose is to feed their families when the cold days of winter come. The young members of the family also help in the preparations. Every bird does its duty to perfection. Not one neglects his job. The woodpecker family, by their example of cooperation and solidarity, prepare for difficult days ahead.
Conclusion. Well, kids, in this film we have seen examples of the care that animals have for their young, and of the solidarity among them. God created the animals we have seen and gave them their sense of caring, mercy, and self-sacrifice. It is stated in a verse of the Quran that God's knowledge and power surrounds all things around. It is God who created the seven heavens and of the earth the same number, the command descending down through all of them, so that you might know that God has power over all things, and that God encompasses all things in His knowledge. Did you know? Champion Birds Hey kids, some birds can't fly, but they have other different abilities. For example, the ostrich or the roadrunner can run faster than an Olympic record-breaking athlete. If a human being were to run a 100-meter race with an ostrich or a roadrunner, the human being would certainly lose the contest. Whereas an Olympic champion can run 39 kilometers an hour, an ostrich can run as fast as 60 kilometers an hour. With its long legs, it can stride three meters in one step. These birds are among the fastest athletes in the animal world. The one who gave them their running ability is Almighty God who created all things from nothing. Stork's Migration Every year, storks migrate. Setting out from the African continent, storks cross the Mediterranean Sea to reach Europe. Very well, how do storks find their way in this thousands of kilometers long journey without getting lost? Research has shown that there is a kind of compass in the stork's body able to sense the Earth's magnetic field. With this natural compass, they follow the lines of the magnetic field and set their direction. Thanks to this compass, they complete this long journey and find their nests from last year. The one who placed this direction-finding system in the stork's body is Almighty God, who created all animals. <laughs> 